Well, I'm uh, 48 years old now. Uh, <clears throat> last year, on April 15th, 2005, I had Mr. McMinn perform the Birmingham hip resurfacing uh, technique on my um, on my left hip, and uh, quite remarkable. He uh, <clears throat> um, performed the uh, the surgery as a result of my active lifestyle from when I was uh, younger. I played uh, competitive ice hockey uh, in Toronto, in Canada, and um, subsequently to uh, uh, playing competitive uh, at the Canadian level, uh, elite level. Um, uh, I subsequently began uh, playing uh, squash uh, in Toronto as well, in Canada, and uh, competed in various um, uh, tournaments uh, abroad uh, during that time. I uh, noticed uh, several years ago that uh, I was incurring uh, and had a lot of pain in my left side. Uh, initially, uh, thinking that um, the pain was as a result of a back injury or uh, a groin injury suffered. And as one might know, uh, when <clears throat> you have an injury of that sort, it's a nagging injury that uh, uh, may not correct itself unless you uh, uh, give it a lot of rest. Uh, I tried that for some time um, and uh, uh, after uh, not really experiencing any uh, um, improvement in my health, uh, sought uh, medical advice uh, subsequent to that. I was uh, taking and was prescribed uh, large quantities of medication to get me through that period of time where the uh, <clears throat> where the pain was so severe and debilitating that it wouldn't even allow me to walk across the street. Um, as a result, I was prescribed uh, uh, the common uh, arthritic drugs, uh, Vioxx, which was then subsequently taken off the market as a result of uh, uh, bad press. Um, it was considered the anti-inflammatory uh, drug uh, to take at that particular time. Uh, Anti-inflammatory drugs helped and was only a masking of what the real injury uh, and the symptoms were. Uh, as well, in the latter stages uh, prior to the surgery, um, I was prescribed uh, uh, heavier uh, drugs uh, which were of a narcotic nature uh, called Percocets. Um, and as one might uh, know, those Percocets uh, are uh, addictive. Uh, they're considered narcotic and very toxic and uh, not necessarily uh, in one's best interest to take those consistently like I was for the last year prior to surgery. I saw Mr. McMinn in March of 2005, uh, probably one month uh, before actually uh, going through and having the surgery and attended his offices, his consulting offices uh, on um, Chad Road and uh, had x-rays, uh, I had brought some x-rays with myself uh, as well as an MRI that I had uh, conducted in Buffalo, New York back, uh, uh, back home or near, near Toronto uh, to also provide to him so that he could make an assessment as well. I would say once I put my, uh, my mind to uh, things, um, the arthritis I lived with uh, and it progressively uh, got worse, but I lived with it uh, for, I would say, uh, a good uh, two years. The treatment uh, of Mr. McMinn's staff are world class, and uh, they treated me with absolute uh, um, specialty. They always make you feel that you're important, and um, uh, I didn't get, uh, all the results were in terms of uh, my contact from the administration side right through to Mr. McMinn himself and his uh, staff surgeons, uh, Mr. Joseph Daniel, uh, Chandra Prudhomme were excellent, uh, professional, knew their material, uh, answered all my questions, um, were very, you know, almost felt that uh, they were concerned about my health 
and wanted to do something to improve that. Mm -hmm. I did obey uh, and did not abuse the privilege and did not play, uh, perform any or play any what uh, Mr. McMinn refers to as loading impact um, sports such as squash, ice hockey, um, tennis. Uh, I did not uh, do any of that uh, until uh, probably about uh, six months time uh, of which then I started up slowly. In the early part of the fall I began to play uh, competitive uh, doubles squash which is a big North American game. Uh, my movement uh, was amazed, uh, amazing to some people uh, that knew of my history and could not believe uh, what I was doing. Uh, there was other people that uh, had had uh, what we call total hip replacement even a year prior to me and they were almost basically just coming off crutches. So it was really amazing to a lot of people. Um, and I had a lot of fun with that uh, because I was also proud uh, of the achievements that I had accomplished and also proud of Mr. McMinn, you know, for relieving me of all this, the severe arthritis that uh, I had encountered through the last previous years.